Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Now, in today's video, don't move to Las Cruces. Don't pick Las Cruces in Mexico. I have like six reasons why you shouldn't move to Las Cruces, so let's go after it right now. All right, guys, let's talk about reason number one. If you love 100% humidity, then don't move to Las Cruces. You know, I've lived and worked in the humidity. I mean, I'm talking about 100% humidity. <laughs> I'm talking about 100% humidity. And let me tell you something, after a long day of working out in the humidity, wow, my shirt and pants were drenched. I had to take another pair of clothes just to change out because you get stinky and you know you're all sweaty oh it was miserable but now if you love that then that's great so my personal experience was that my body was trying to cool down all the time and it was so hard for your body to cool down so at the end of a long work day i was super tired all i wanted to do was get home and just rest sleep that was my experience though so reason number two if you love the rain then don't move to las cruces new mexico that would be a horrible idea now we get 320 days of sunshine you heard me right an average of 320 days of sunshine that means the other rains might be stormy might be dusty it might be rain we get monsoon seasons that means that sometimes a monsoon season is not right. It's just a bunch of dirt blown in your face. Okay. So those of you that comment and say you don't talk about, you know, the, the winds in Las Cruces, we do get winds, especially when the time is changing. So if you love standing out in the rain and just getting all wet, you will have a few days. But if you love that all the time, if you want the dark and gloomy non-stop rain that just shackles you at home and you can't do anything else but stay in your house then Las Cruces is not for you alright guys let's talk about the third reason why you should not move to Las Cruces New Mexico if you love the freezing cold now guys if you guys love layers and layers and layers and layers of clothes which is great I'm trying to keep warm from those negative degree temperatures then Las Cruces might not be for you so now I have lived in areas where it would drop below freezing temperatures and below zero wow I mean, I wore layers and layers and layers, and I don't know, but I just could not keep warm. And since I had so many layers, I didn't have much movement. That was just my experience though. But if you love those negative temperatures where it's freezing, then Las Cruces may not. So this small town in New Mexico may not be for you if you love that cold temperature. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. There are a few days here in Las Luces where it'll drop through the 20s and 30s, but it's only for a day, maybe two, and then it warms up sunny like this. So we do have some cold days, don't get me wrong, but not all year, very few days. Okay, guys, reason number four. Four, don't move to Las Cruces if you love sitting in traffic. If you love those long hours in traffic, then don't move to Las Cruces. Now, I know that is that's a great time to listen to your audio book, tune in to your favorite music station, catch up on phone calls and that's not even you know catching up on phone calls is not even good if you're driving you can still have an accident even though you're stuck on traffic 
If you love to sit whole days in traffic when there is an accident, then don't move to Las Cruces. Because even when there is an accident, you're not sitting the whole day in traffic like I did one time when I used to live in the East Coast. So if you want to spend your life shackled in your car because of traffic, then Las Cruces might not be. Okay, guys? I mean, don't get me wrong, here in Las Cruces, New Mexico, you can still get around and enjoy maybe a half hour in traffic. And I'm talking about, you know, from one end of Las Cruces to the other in, what is it, um, in rush hour traffic. And that's great. But we do not have those long hours of crazy traffic here in the small town of Las Cruces, New Mexico. So that's just another reason not to move to Las Luces, New Mexico, if you love sitting in traffic. Okay guys, reason number five, don't move to Las Luces if you love an expensive cost of living. Yeah, if you love that, then Las Luces is not for you. Our property taxes here in Las Luces, New Mexico are around 1% or less. If you live a little on the outsides of Las Cruces. Now, let's do the math. Let's pause the video, figure out how much you're paying a year. Over here, you can buy a home. You can still buy a home for around 300,000. So let's say you buy a home for 300,000. So property taxes on that home are around 1%. So you will be paying about $3,000 a year on property taxes. So let's be real. How much is your property tax? 3%, 6%, 8%? Comment guys, tell me where you live and what percent of taxes are you paying a year. Las Cruces is 1% or under. Please let me know on the comments. Now let's talk about food. Food here for two people, you can still go out to a nice restaurant and pay under $45 for two people. Let's say under $50. I hear in other states, you can't even get anything for two people under $100 at a restaurant. Okay, well, that's just what they tell me. People we've helped to move from other states. So comment, how much are you paying when you go out to eat for two people? That's just two people. I'm not talking about a family of four or five, right? Two people. So let me know, guys, on the comments below, okay? Now, let's talk about the gas. Gas prices here, I'm gonna look at my notes. Gas prices here for regular are $3.30 an average. $3.30 for regular. Now, if you're putting premium, then that's a whopping $4. For premium, right top, premium gas, $4. So, how much are you paying for gas? Now, guys, we're not gonna get into everything else that you're paying just to stay alive at a different state. Is Las Cruces, New Mexico an affordable state? Absolutely, guys, absolutely. Now, those of us that have been here for a while have seen prices go up. But come on guys, let's be real. Prices have to go up. Inflation is going up. So you just gotta learn to deal with it, right? That's just the way life is. Las Cruces is still a very affordable city level. Reason number six. If you don't like running trails, if you don't like walking trails like the one I'm in right now, if you don't like biking trails, if you don't like nature, then don't move to Las Cruces, New Mexico, please because you will not like it if you do not like any of those things. Las Cruces is surrounded by mountains, beautiful mountains. Where am I at right now? I'll zoom in. What mountains do we have here in Las Cruces, New Mexico? Oregon Mountains, Robledo Mountains, Picacho Peak, Doñana Peak. So we are surrounded, Las Cruces is surrounded by beautiful picturesque mountains here in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Let me just show you where I'm at. Okay guys, if you please, if you haven't subscribed, hear me out. Please subscribe, help us grow our channel. I'm asking you to help us out. We love talking about Las Cruces, New Mexico. We love featuring food. We love featuring places of interest. If you have any questions, any comments, please give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email. 
will be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to Las Cruces. If there's anything that I can do to help you with that move, I will tell you, and there is a lot I can do to help you move. From, okay, you know, who do I hire to move? To how do I buy a house while, I'm, while I sell my house? There's all these questions. Well, I've never bought a home. We have all the answers you need. Trust me, we do. You just have to give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email. We'd love to help. Okay, guys, thank you for staying all the way to the end. I appreciate you watching our videos. Please subscribe, share this video. Those are the six reasons why you shouldn't move to Las Cruces. And let's be frank, not everyone belongs here in Las Cruces. So if you don't like those reasons, don't move to Las Cruces. Thank you, guys. We'll see you on the next video.